Hello, welcome to your personology guide and happy March 22nd. If you were born on this day, I hope you're having an awesome birthday and I hope that you have an amazing year to come as well. We're going to be reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays, your complete personology guide to each day of the year by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. Link is in the description if you'd like to purchase this book. So let's get into it. This is the day of direct current. Juicy. Month, March, day 22nd. Your sign is zero to two degrees Aries. You are the Pisces Aries cusp sun sign. And this is the cusp of rebirth. And you're a cardinal fire sign. Boom. Brand new zodiac cycle. All right. March 22 people have a sense of infallibility and refuse to be denied. They feel no need to shout their message from the rooftops. On the contrary, they are often quietly self-assured individuals who loathe self-aggrandizement. If they so choose, those born on this day can be very successful in business or finance, carefully making their way through the competitive corporate jungle. They are not easily sidetracked or led astray, and thus continue inexorably on their path to succeed. Of course, some March 22 people focus on goals that are much more modest, making a happy family life, enjoying leisure time, or developing a hobby, but reach that goal they must. One of the most difficult qualities for others to deal with in March 22 people is that they will not submit to an analysis of their character, nor admit to subconscious motives. Quite simply, those born on this day are among the few types who are exactly what they appear to be, no more, no less, and woe to anyone who attempts to look behind the frank exterior they present to the world. Not surprisingly, they are also allergic to all forms of pretense, sham, or underhandedness they perceive in others. Unfortunately, they run the risk of mistaking diplomacy for duplicity. So averse are they to indirectness. Many March 22 people carry a heroic picture of themselves in their minds, an idealized image that they try to emulate. What they aspire to may not be a terribly dramatic kind of heroism, but rather a quiet and provocative valor that earns the respect and even worship of their family, friends, and associates. Indeed, those born on this day often earn a reputation for being ultra-dependable. Once March 22 people have discovered their true calling, generally found by the time they are in their mid middle 20s, they will usually continue on course for the rest of their lives. Other activities may grow out of this role, particularly in later years, but the fundamental connection will always exist. Rarely will those born on this day make sudden or abrupt shifts away from their chosen path. March 22 people will find career fulfillment if they are able to look at their products or services critically. If they are unable to do so, they will be repeatedly baffled and frustrated, frustrated, confused by their inability to achieve success. In addition, they must keep their enthusiasm in check not only because they may get too carried away and overreach the mark, but also because others may be put off by their manner. In addition, March 22 people should be sensitive to any tendencies within themselves toward despotism or tyrannical behavior. Interesting. Yeah, um, Mars moved into Pisces this day. There's been quite a bit of confusion out there plus that full moon energy coming. Numbers and planets. Those born on the 22nd of the month are ruled by the number four, two plus two equaling four, and by the planet Uranus. People ruled by the number four have a unique way of doing and seeing things. Because they often take the minority point of view and are so self-assured, they may arouse antagonism and make enemies, often secret ones. In addition, Uranus symbolizes eccentric and erratic behavior, and coupled with Mars, ruler of Aries, can signify explosiveness in March 22 people. Those born on the 22nd of the month, month often evidence in interest. That is what it says, right? Yeah. Those born on the 22nd of the month often evidence in interest in doubles of various kinds, twins, coincidences, coincidences and symmetry, etc. 
Also, if you're born on the 22nd, you might want to look into master number 22. True builders. True masters. Juicy. In tarot, the 22nd card of the major arcana is the fool, who in several versions of the tarot is shown blithely stepping over the edge of a cliff. Some interpretations picture him as a foolish man who has given up his reason. Others, a highly spiritualized being, free of material considerations. Positive meanings include renouncing resistance and following instincts freely. Foolishness, impulsiveness, and annihilation are the negative aspects. The highly evolved fool has followed life's path experienced its lessons and become one with his or her own vision. 22. The fool is zero. Wow. How many times have I come across this and not thought of that this year? I mean, it is a circle. <sighs> Anyways, interesting. Okay, so in health, the danger with March 22 people is that because of their confident nature and high energy, they will take good health for granted. By overlooking the fact that health must be maintained, they may fall prey to their boundless enthusiasm. Plans to control calories, balance vitamin intake, or add needed food supplements seem to go out the window with most March 22 people. They want to eat just what they like. Because they despise health or food fads, their families and friends should appeal to them on the grounds of good sense. A moderate amount of exercise, gardening, and outdoor sports are recommended, and a reasonable limitation on fats and sweets in the diet may be acceptable to them. Better to gradually phase in changes in diet without making a big issue of it. Advice. Have patience with those who are not as well directed as you. Continue to move slowly, but surely. Working hard, but also letting things just happen sometimes. Oh, excuse me. Cultivate diplomacy and allow others, allow others in a bit more. Meditation of the day. Love involves respect for the time and space of all living things. <laughs> I love it. So if you were born on this day, your strengths could be that you're enthusiastic, well-directed, or dynamic, and your weaknesses could be that you're overbearing, emotionally unaware, or overconfident. All right, those born on this day. <clears throat> Anthony Van Dyke. Or it's D-Y-C-K. A Flemish Baroque painter. Marcel Marceau. A French mime, perhaps greatest of modern times. Ruth Page, a ballet dancer and choreographer. Robert Andrew Milliken, a U.S. physicist, Nobel Prize, and electricity and light. Agnes Martin, a painter. George Benson, a jazz guitarist and singer. Leonard Chico Marx, comic vaudeville, film actor, Marx Brothers, and a pianist. William Shatner, TV, film actor, Captain Kirk of Star Trek. Carl Malden, a film and TV actor. Maximilian I, a German 15th century emperor. Wilhelm I, a Prussian 19th century king and German emperor. Stephen Sondheim, a composer and lyricist. Andrew Lloyd Webber, a stage composer. Impresario, impresario. Pat Robertson, a preacher and politician. William Travilla, a designer. James Neal, a geneticist. Ron Carey, Teamsters Union head, elected on reform platform. Quote, goodbye to the mafia, end quote. Orrin Hatch, a U.S. Senator of Utah. Nicholas Monserrat, a British writer of The Cruel Sea. And lastly, we have Matthew Modine a film actor. Juicy. I hope this can help you on your path. Not everything will ring a chord with you, but some of these things here and there, they will. So, oh, and you know, if you're interested in a more in-depth look 
into your own personology, I highly recommend The Secret Language of Destiny, also by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. It is phenomenal. It'll change your life. So we'll end out one last time with this beautiful meditation. Love involves respect for the time and space of all living things. Boom. I hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you come across this. And I will see you next time. Take care of yourself. Thank you.